Hello, it's the expat gunner here with another video. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and give a brief guide uh, relating to loudness EQ in Windows. Now, depending on your audio device, you may or may not have the enhancements option available in Windows. Uh, this was uh, the issue I faced with my uh, Fio K11 DAC. If I go into the sound pro in control panel and then the sound uh, options, then we can see here uh, I've got my uh, K11 device as the default device. But if I go into properties, I'll have general, levels, advanced, and spatial sound, uh, but no options for audio enhancements such as loudness EQ, which some people want to use in games like Call of Duty to enhance footsteps. Uh, basically what loudness EQ is, is it's a compressor, so it brings all of the sounds to a closer volume. So low sounds are increased, uh, high sounds are decreased. So basically it lessens the impact of gunshots, but it also increases low level sounds like footsteps. So a lot of people want to have this option on. Um, other devices, will have this feature. So for example, maybe if I select speakers on this NVIDIA device, uh, there's nothing here. Actually, if we select the monitor, the monitor will have it. So if we go to the monitor, we can see we've got general supported format, spatial sound advanced, but we have the enhancements tab, yeah? So on the monitor audio output, you have this loudness EQ with its release time settings. But if I go into my DAC, then it's not there. So this video is really actually um, a bit of a tutorial about how you will be able to enable it using registry edit and some uh, adding some uh, string commands basically. So um, I have this basically uh, this guide which I found on a forum which basically gives some instructions on the changes you need to make within the registry edit. So uh, basically there's, there's three string values, uh, each composed of a value name and then the value inside. Uh, it may sound a little bit complicated, but it's really not. Uh, I will uh, link this, um, this description in this document in the uh, description on the video on YouTube, just to make it easy to follow. But what I'm gonna do now is just basically show how it's applied uh, using registry edit and how we can enable the uh, enhancements tab for basically uh, any audio device within Windows 10 or 11. This is Windows 11, but I believe the same works for Windows 10. So what I'll do effectively is open the uh, registry editor. Uh, you have to basically follow this, uh, this tree command, oh, well, not tree, uh, basically where the file is located. So, H keys local machine, then software, then Microsoft, uh, then Windows, then current version, uh, MM devices, then audio, then render. So basically um, what you'll find is you'll have a whole list of audio devices depending on how your PC is configured. I have quite a lot because I have uh, things like sound meter configured, uh, I have voice meter, sorry, not sound meter, voice meter. I have other audio devices I've disabled. Uh, for example, if we click and go view uh, disabled devices, we'll see I have, I have quite a lot there. So this represents a number of devices that are within Windows, but also it can show devices that aren't necessarily listed here as well. So we'll just disable this. We don't want to see devices that have been disabled. But the time consuming bit is probably to go through the devices and understand which device is relevant. So if you click on one of these, for example, you'll have FX properties and then properties. So you want to go into properties and look where there is actually a name for the device. So as you can see here, it says voice meter VAIO3 input. So we understand that this is not the device we're looking for. Uh, we can go into another one. We can see, for example, this one, uh, 
relates to Artune. So this would be the, the cable that I installed. I was testing this out to see how, how, how it performs. I'm kind of on the fence at the moment. We select another one. We can see that this is a cable, virtual cable. So this is basically not the devices we want, but I've also, uh, I've, I previously opened it up here. So if we click on this one, for example, go to properties, I can go down here and see that this is the Theo K11. So it says down here. So you'll have to look in the list, but normally towards the bottom, you can see the device that this uh, registry edit is referring to. So what we need to do is we then need to go into FX properties. So we'll see that we have uh, a number of binary codes here. Uh, you don't have to do anything here. What we need to do is create a new string value though. So we've got these, basically these three values we need to create within this uh, FX properties within the registry edit. So we go, basically we create a new string value. We would copy the name, so I'll rename it. And then we can go into it and give it a value. So we will take the value from that top line as well. We will copy and we will paste it here. We'll do the same. We'll create another string value for the second one. We will copy the text. I'll rename it. And then we need to go in and give the value, which is this second code on the second line. And then we do the third string value. So we copy this. Again, we do the same process. We rename it. We then give it the value. And basically, I think this should save automatically. We don't have to do anything. But what we can do now is we can go to the device, we can go into properties, and we can see now we have the enhancements tab. So where we didn't have it before on the K11, we now have an enhancements tab, which gives us some additional features, base management, virtual surround, room correction, and the all important loudness equalization. So we can now tick this, we can go in and we can enhance the release time. And basically it's that simple. So you uh, find your device within the registry edit by uh, reviewing the, the properties tabs and checking that you've actually selected the right value, uh, the right device. Then you add those three text strings basically in FX properties close out of it, then you can check your device and you should have like here, we see on the K11 now, we have the enhancements tab and we can select loudness EQ if we wish. And we can see it's taken effect. Uh, if we go back in, there we go. So it's all there, all present. And that's basically it. So I didn't find a really comprehensive guide on how to do this. There are a lot of uh, channels out there just recommending that if you don't find it on a device you're using, you can use monitor and things like this. But as I want to use the DAC, then I like the ability to have it actually on the device I prefer to use because the DAC and amp give me more power to the headphones, give better quality sound, and uh, I'd rather ensure that I don't actually have to switch devices and I can remain consistently using whatever device I select and prefer to use. Anyway, a quick video. That's all I wanted to share with this. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out in the comments. And if you like the video, please give it a like and thumbs up. And uh, please consider subscribing for more. I'll see you in the next one.